needed to go for a, a tone with enough gain so that some of the left hand flashy techniques uh, would would speak. You know, um, it kind of helped them speak. Um, and it's a big it's a big sort of chess beater of a tune <laughs> in a way for me. It's uh, you know it's got the the tempo alone and uh, and that kind of sort of feel um, gets everybody you know on their feet and uh, so I, I wanted a pretty uh, you know a treble pickup kind of a bit of, bit of gain uh, it's got a sort of rockability Billy vibe uh, on the original but the original is a lot slower and uh, somehow live um, you know because we ratcheted the tempo up uh, I, I, I did the same w with the sound um, so I start with, um, uh, I think you, you, you've probably heard already and you're going to notice um, when we look at this stuff in detail, uh, there's lots of left hand hammer-ons and pull-offs. Um, that's, that's a lot of that idiomatic guitar stuff uh, I was talking about. Um, it starts right away with that little, little trill, that kind of thing. So. There's something about that sound that the, of the two notes together, which is intense. I like that. That's just right on the G7, of course. And then the same thing up a fourth. And then back down. It's kind of like the bass line. Anyway. It's kind of very similar. So I'm right on, right on, right on the song, I guess. But then uh, these, these crazy changes uh, really... You you have to uh, you got to get out of blues mode to uh, to negotiate these changes. It seems to me so. On um, I, I, on the E flat major seventh uh, I'm seventh chord I'm a but uh, I'm using those those pull offs um, to sort of make it because it's a quick tempo. It 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 makes the uh, Makes for a slightly smoother expression and and uh, helps me uh, connect and just makes it a little more legato. So uh, just follow along with me. E flat major seventh. We're right on the chord. Again, I I tend to be thinking of the chord and even seeing where the chord is in relation to what I'm playing. Uh, uh. And then the A seven. Yeah. You'll hear that diminished scale again, that half whole thing I like to do. And then D minor seventh, like a. That's on the D minor chord. Again, we're we're sort of in ja in in jazz line world for me here. Um, on the B flat, I get to the F on the downbeat. Again, chord tones. On downbeats uh, are effective. I kind of zero in on the E flat, E flat on the downbeat of the E flat major seven chord. A on the downbeat of the F chord. Uh, now here's a little bit of flash. I mean, you've noticed this before in some of the other solos. Um, I tend when a chord is moving up a step. If there's an opportunity to sort of play in the half step between them, it's, I, I find it hard to resist, I guess. Um, so we, right there, I'm just, uh, it's an arpeggio, simple uh, F chord to F sharp chord, but, uh, so, but it's, you know, it kind of, it lays well, it's easy, it's kind of, uh, it's right there under your fingers. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about with, uh, uh, in, in this, with this strategy of finding some flashy, flashy guitar-y things to do. The guitar is built chromatically, so it's, it's kind of crying out for that, and it's pretty easy to do. So, and so we got that. So that's, that's, we're back in G, in G, G7 blues, you know, uh, um, now, uh, for this next section where, where we uh, superimpose these, these jazzy chord changes, 
I'm, I'm on the the uh, chord changes right away again. The F sharp minor seventh uh, to the B seven to the E minor. So you can really hear the chords in the line alone. So uh, you hear that chord. I think easy to hear the chord going by just from the line. Uh, So I, again, I'm using, uh, I'm taking advantage of the, the chromatic nature of the guitar to, uh, you know. Now those chords are are, are just arpeggios. They're the they're the triads on top of these bass notes. A G triad is on top of the E minor bass note, E minor seventh bass note. The G flat triad above the E flat bass in the E flat minor seventh chord. The F triad over the D minor seventh in the D bass, yeah. And on the G7, I'm thinking of this G13 flat nine sound, which has, if you look, a little E triad on top. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so from the E minor again, E flat minor, D minor, G7, G13 flat nine. Now, we're on the C7 chord again. We're done with the jazz changes through there. And it felt like time again for a little little uh, left-hand guitar flash. So just those, uh, those, those handy little... Uh, those trills there. Uh, that's all pretty... It works pretty nicely on the C chord. And then, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's almost like. So that's uh, that's back in G, and again, these are some of those ideas I discovered when I was trying to find like open string ideas in the key of G when I was working on uh, finding ways to play peg. Uh, okay, and then. Um, Back to those, uh, the, the sort of uh, jazzy chords, the E flat major seven. Here I was using some, uh, some of those left hand pull off techniques to help me play it. Again, that's just a G minor arpeggio. If you look at the E flat major seven chord, it's a G minor triad above the E flat bass. And I'm, so I'm not playing the bass, but I'm just outlining the notes of the and then it's an A7 chord. Again, just a simple A7 arpeggio. Uh, and then um, on the D minor, this uh, uh, sort of a pattern, uh, the same shape. The F, the F triad above the D minor. On the, on the uh, uh, I guess that's a B flat chord there. Uh, just the slides, and then uh, the E flat again. I kind of imitate, but vary that uh, that same line uh, over the E flat to the F chord. And then uh, there's a break in the band; the rhythm section stops, and I think there's a little hi hat going still. But but basically, it's it's my chance to fill a couple bars here, and. So this is this is when I came up with this uh, long line a again something that's uh, easy to play on a guitar because of the chromatic nature of it. Uh, I start on the downbeat here, shift, 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 and just keep going all the way. And downbeat, the third of the G on the downbeat. So that's the climax of the thing. Uh, so the break again is, uh, and then this is just a little. Uh, it's just a. It's just a pattern, uh, just a simple scalar pattern. But then I just do it, you know, until until I get there. It's kind of fun. Uh, it's definitely, it's definitely a, fl a, 
a showbiz choice. <laughs> uh, and then um, I, I, I use that uh, diminished scale again. Again, this is something that works on the guitar because because uh, you can just get the same same voicing by sliding around. You don't have to change fingerings like a keyboard player has to. So I play the D flat triad, the B flat triad, the G triad, the E triad. Again, this is something that lays really well on the guitar because it's because you can take the voice and just slide down. Now we're thinking G7 again, but we're going to a C7, so that's that half whole scale, which, which those chords all come from. You know, the, the diminished scale that we've been using. Uh, kind of leads strongly into this to the C7. When I get to the C7, I'm doing a little more uh, flashy stuff and kind of staying in that, uh, that parallel diminished scale kind of uh, mode. Uh, Again, this is this is the kind of thing uh, that's the, the, the guitar is kind of built for. <laughs> and, uh, might be harder on other instruments. And then uh, just the resolution, a uh, normal sort of almost country. And then we're back on the uh, the E flat chord uh, section. And for that, I, I I found I could do this kind of thing with an open string. That's kind of fun. Uh, So that's that, that that's working on the chords in a kind of unique way. It's an E flat. So I'm using this open G and this this high G with the D flat. Now when it moves to the A chord, I'm using the C sharp instead, but still the E because the uh, still the G's because the G's are common tones between the E flat and the A. Now the uh, um, the D minor. I'm just kind of continuing the line down because it's it's it works on the D minor, and then for the G the B flat chord, which feels like G minor to me, uh, I'm playing more like a blues line there. And then uh, um, then we have this uh, almost a, a country kind of thing. So uh, that, that kind of ends the first the first section. Um, then the uh, on the uh, on the gig the horns do this uh, thing, and so I use that as an opportunity for a call and response little little thing with the with the horns, um, and I play this uh, challenging line at this faster tempo. <laughs> slide so a lot of the sliding around is uh, that that's that's attention getting too I think and uh, it's, it's fun so uh, that one that one's hard to play at the tempo but that's the fingering I use somehow that works better it's difficult and then I use some of those uh, open string ideas again with another slide. That's uh, some of that stuff that I, again, uh, that open G stuff that was working uh, well for me in Peg. Um, and then I repeat the line in G. And then I play these chords, which I don't know where I heard that, but it's, it's some sort of uh, cliche or something, but, it, but it's, it's it's sort of striking after all the single notes to have the like chords there. That's just an E minor triad, D minor triad, like a G like a G seven, and E minor and D minor again. So uh, then the band goes into a bunch of rhythmic hits, and I just play them with the band, you know, uh, right on the chords, and then. The one uh, one of them's on the downbeat, so I slide up to that one to, to sort of point that out, and then these again, and then uh, I uh, the ending I came up with um, also goes for a little showbiz with the uh, 
with the with the uh, harmonics at the end. So uh, you know, at, at up to tempo, that's uh, that's that's pretty fun. Uh, but I have to get back to the melody. So uh, can't ring it for that long, unfortunately. But uh, so that so that's the solo, and um, I think you can see how that that kind of tune is. It's it's sort of crying out for that kind of approach, as much flash as you can find. Um, the uh, it, it, it's a it's a strategy you don't want to overuse, and you want to employ it when it's appropriate, um, and probably only when it's appropriate. But uh, it's it's a lot it's a lot of fun to embrace when it is appropriate, uh, as as I I think it is in this tune, and uh, so uh, use it wisely, but but use it. <laughs> 